Hi everyone, it's Dr. Connie. So there's been so much talk about CBD, hemp, and medical marijuana. But more recently, with medical marijuana legalized in a couple of the states, I began to get more and more questions about it from those living with lupus. So it's hard to ignore the tremendous benefits that patients like you and me would have. So today, I'll be diving deep into the CBD or cannabinoid and its physiological effects in the body. So first of all, CBD is not another nutritional supplement. And before I talk about CBD, we need to understand our physiology. So our body is hard at work every day trying to maintain what's called homeostasis. We've got multiple systems in our bodies and even every system has polarity built in. For example, our neural network has positive and negative charges within our nerves that trigger our muscles to contract or relax. The pH also in various parts of our body spans the whole pH scale from very acidic to very alkaline, as you can see on the image here. Even our endocrine system can be catabolic, which means to break down or anabolic, which means to build up. You see the oppositions here and the polarity? So in essence, every aspect of human physiology is constantly and dynamically striving for balance. And this is also your metabolism. So our body is constantly doing the dance, the yin and the yang, expanding and contracting, degenerating and then regenerating inflow and outflow, and homeostasis is at the core of health. However, in our lives today, our homeostasis is a bit skewed. We're living in a toxic world and our bodies are not able to maintain the optimal homeostasis. But because our bodies are so resilient, they're able to shift and still function even in, an, in a suboptimal environment. We're able to adjust and adapt, and it is this flexibility and resilience that we lose as autoimmune patients, as well as through the aging process. All systems have to communicate, and they do so by way of signaling molecules. And pharmaceutical drugs act in the body by further altering our homeostasis to decrease a specific symptom, but this often results in unintended consequences. So what happens? Well, if you take one medication, often you'll need more to counter the effects of the med that you're initially placed on. And ultimately, when taking medications long-term, they end up altering our physiology so much so that it now needs meds to run functionally. But the meds don't allow you to achieve optimal functionality. Rather, they keep you at declining functionality. So how does CBD work in our body? Well, it just so happens that CBD physiologically keeps our body in balance, homeostasis, promoting optimal function. And that we have CBD receptors in all systems of our bodies. We have an endocannabinoid system in our body, and this is a network of cells that contain receptors. And these receptors are the most prevalent type of receptors throughout the body. And it's Dr. Raphael Mushalam. Meshulam at Hebrew University in Israel who discovered this. We also have our own cannabinoids in our bodies. They're anandamide and 2-AG. Anandamide is what is created when we're meditating. It's also known as the bliss molecule. And 2-AG is produced when breastfeeding. So these are good, feel-good receptors. And the receptors for CBD travels to the heart of the cell called the nucleus, where the intelligence of our cells lie. And in essence, the CBD receptors travel to the nucleus of the cell impact to impact our whole entire physiology and bind to the chromosomes and affect our DNA code, which is the software that ultimately runs our physiology. So genes code for various proteins in the body and our signaling molecules are neurotransmitters, which is from the nervous system, hormones, which is our endocrine system, and cytokines, which is part of our immune system. So which proteins are made as a result of the influence of CBD in our body? 
So it just so happens that CBD modulates the transcription of over 1100 genes that make the signaling molecules that naturally reduce inflammation in our central nervous system and throughout our immune system. So restoring homeostasis to both our immune and central nervous system. So it upregulates the anti-inflammatory biochemicals called GABA, which brings calmness and downregulates the inflammatory biochemicals called glutamate, which reduces overexcitation. Therefore, our body is brought back to its homeostasis. So instead of having so many unintended consequences from one medication, I think CBD oil may just be the thing to keep our bodies in balance, sparing us from those meds that we are constantly prescribed. Remember, our homeostasis results from a cascade of biochemical reactions on the entire immune and physiological system, including the cardiovascular, central nervous, immune system, our bone marrow, our spleen, bladder, and even the lymph system. So why is this important? If you're living in the 21st century, you're inflamed. No one is exempt. We all have some degree of toxic overload, hence the inflammation. Many of these conditions didn't exist 100 to 150 years ago. They've been growing in the last century due to the increasing toxins in the environment. This toxic load can cause a degradation in our gut lining, which results in leaky gut, and through a cascade of biochemical reaction in our body, they lead to brain inflammation, causing brain fog, epilepsy, anxiety, PTSD, and insomnia, and immune dysfunction leading to autoimmune conditions that we're so familiar with, like lupus, RA, MS, fibromyalgia, etc. Such conditions were so rare in the past, but due to ongoing insult to our system, such conditions are on the rise. So CBD provides tremendous relief and healing and hope for your overall system. And because health is achieved through the physiological homeostasis, CBD seem like a good option to me at this point. Some of you asked, and after extensively looking for a reputable source, I've partnered with Quicksilver Science to bring their high-potency CBD oils in various forms to deliver a potent IV infusion-like absorption using their proprietary nano liposomal technology that can be taken taken sublingually. It's proved to be six times more absorbable than the pharmaceutical grade CBD oils that you can find out there. CBD will help with pain as well as promote body's ability to naturally detoxify and heal all while supporting our body's overall systemic homeostasis. So after much research, I am so excited at this point for the potential relief that we can gain from its use. So let's talk about CBD dosing. So number one is to decide on the delivery method. Cannabis oil is available in sprays, capsules, edible, and other products. Number two is to begin slowly. Low dose to start is key. And number three is spread out the dose through the day. And four is to use consistent dose and ratio for several days and see how you do and adjust accordingly. And number five is don't overdo it. Less is more in, is the case with cannabis. And number six is beware of possible side effects. Cannabis is a safe and forgiving medicine. It can sometimes though increase anxiety and mood disorders. And other possible side effects are dry mouth, dizziness, and possibly faintness. Number seven is to consult your health provider. Proceed cautiously, especially if you have a history of alcohol or drug abuse, mental illness, or are pregnant or breastfeeding. I'd also recommend that you visit projectcbd.org for some legitimate information on CBD. I found it so informative. I hope you enjoyed this topic today. I certainly learned a lot and will begin to use immediately. 
those of you who are interested in purchasing the Quicksilver Scientific Proprietary CBD, please respond to the feed below and we will make sure to include the link on our blog post so that you can port purchase. Thanks so much. If you enjoyed this post, I ask that you share this information with as many people as possible and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And lastly, I would be so grateful if you also subscribe to our podcast called Health Made Easy and leave us a review. It really does make a difference in making our job easier. Thanks, and I'll see you next week.